next. Next. Don't be scared. What is this? Um, just sit down. We'll get started. Get. Um, are we going for coffee? <laughs> Don't flirt with me, Johan. Um, please. Sorry, Johan. Is it Johan Flismas? That's what you, I have here. Johan. You Falmus. So, we're going to do an audition what? for our Night of Caucasity fundraiser. We are trying to raise awareness of white privilege. Um, just how amazing it is, how much we need it. Barry Hilton is not available. So, we are going to be auditioning you. If you can just start off by giving us one joke, preferably using black people as your punchline. Sure. So, whenever you're ready, John. Knock, knock. Who's there? You. Who are you voting for? Steve we have Hoffmeyer. to... Okay, that's a good one. Because he's a real party, yeah. that guy. He is. Uh, what would it take for you to vote for us? Because as a comedian, I assume you're poor. Yes. Uh, right. Because, you know, you need to eat. I'll do it for five million rand in small bills that are unmarked. Okay, well, we can do can that. You put that um, down? Helen keeps them in her pillowcase, Great. so we can definitely... And they've got a fake bacon sandwich at the Fussy Vegan on Jan Smuts. Can I get a few of those? Okay, cool. I was going to say fake bacon, because Jewish. Both of us. Yeah, um, not deep pride man, wrong comedian. You see, even they look the same. It's, it's crazy. It's amazing, eh? Hey? Um, so, with white privilege, what do you believe about it? It's an immoral system of well, destroying the psyche of immoral. an entire group of people. Mm. So, you're one of those. Okay. Like oh. a Bram Fisher, Barry Herzog. Yeah, I mean, those bunch of assholes, what do they know? I don't know, it just feels like you're kind of like on their side. Black sash I know, you in know, the house. once you get a degree, you just f***ing don't go back. Crazy. Ah, so you have a degree, so you must not sit next to John Steenhazer, and that will be really offensive Awkward. to him. Yeah. Okay, so racism. What exactly do you feel about it? Uh, what would you like me to feel about racism? I that feel it's like you've exaggerated, decided. and that it's only reverse racism, and that black people complain about nothing. The olden days are long gone. Right. It's a new South Africa. I don't see colour. I mean, are you? What do you really do? Are, are you, you like a special needs person? What are you doing here? I am the face of the party, um, I campaign, I, I collect votes all over, um, okay. and I am the planner of the Night of Caucasity fundraiser. Fundraiser. So... Are you putting the fun into fundraisers? All right, Johan, John, I keep, it keeps coming doesn't up matter. my tongue. It's interchangeable, just, it really I feel more matter. comfortable around Afrikaans people, that's why it's Fair just Fair enough, good for you. Works. Afrikaans people will not be alone, ultimately, they'll have you. John, what is your stance on give back the land? I think it's probably worth exploring. Wouldn't you like some land? I, no, I'm not... Do you have land? Because you think I'm... Look, I'm just tan. I'm not... I'm not black. Um, well, Donald Trump isn't orange, so... It's a condition. Um, it's a psychological condition, but it's also something I'm working towards. So you do believe you appear as non-Caucasian? I, I appear as ambiguous. Are you race-fluid? <laughs> yeah. I'm actually transracial. Um, Transra are you transitioning My then? journey... My journey has been a tough one. Um, not a lot of people are aware about transracialism, where you just don't identify with... Oh, this is quite hard. Do you have a support group? I mean, do you I and do. Kanye and Bao sit around and... I'm Rachel Dolezal. She's the head. Um, yeah. Kanye and I, we go to meetings. Okay. Um, she's almost there, though. She's very lucky. Yeah. And speaking of that, do you have any white people that might want to date um, a transracial person who is just coming to terms with her transracialism? I'm sure there must be some. And right-wingers often mm -hmm. find it really, really sexy to be with people who appear even to be okay, black. Okay, but John, this night of caucasity is actually also an awareness night um, to protest against blacks only, this David Cowell thing. Um, it's quite aggressive, and we want whites well, only. What do, you, what do you mean? Because imagine if we had whites only, there would be complaints everywhere. No, but isn't that, a, that is exactly what he's done, is he's answered whites only, which wasn't a show about comedy, it was a f instruction to not have black people appear in public. Well, I wasn't born in that time, and why do we have to always be, like, apologetic for things that our grandfathers did and in the past? Oh, so... Because of basic human decency, I think that's the, oh. that's the concept um, there. How do we spell decency? D-E-C. Okay. E-N-C-Y. Cool. So, that's all we need from you, John. I don't, I don't think it's going to work. It's not. <laughs> You're a bit too controversial. It's a no. I can give you the names of some people if you want to talk to them. Yes. Ernst. 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 Roots. No, he's not a comedian. He's a historian and an educator. No, he's not. He's a f clown. He's perfect for um, this. Are you in touch with Leon Schuster as well? He, he laughs at blacks, which we love. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. No. But what we can do, um, I did hear about your show, um, your one-man show. Yeah, please don't come. 
Well, we wanted to know if we can hang up some of our posters. I have security to remove you. Please don't. Sorry? Is he foreign? Because then we can get Herman to remove it. Oh, Herman coming, yeah. I hope. I'm inviting Herman. So we'll remove all of the foreigners um, before the show anyway. We must know the dates for his diary. April the 24th. April 24th till? May the 20th. Or May. something like that. And it's called The End. The End. And this is um, a toast to the end of your career. Yeah. Nice meeting you. You too, John. OK. I'm OK. Go um, now. Yeah. It's not going to work. So, John is quite aggro, hey guys? Um, I don't know if it's part of his 12 steps to be a dick, but wow, I, I didn't expect any of that. But you know, it's like they say, when a boy hurts you, it's because he likes you. Because he also asked me for coffee. So, mixed signals. I don't know, I guess we'll see at a show. Even though he said we mustn't come, he clearly wants me to come. Like, I know these things.